Hello children. In part one of the chapter the seventh chapter, we did what were the tribes and how how many tribes were there in India. Today we will be starting with the tribal societies. Tribes are people who do not follow norms laid by the society, that is by the Brahmins. Most of the tribes, most of the tribes were dependent on agriculture. Others were herders or hunter gatherers. Tribes were even nomadic and and nomadic and moved from one place to another. Many tribes lived in forest, hills, desert, and other places which were difficult to reach. They preserved the culture and heritage through oral traditions. There were even clashes between tribes and powerful caste based based society. That means there was a fight. Clashes means fight. Contemporary historians and travelers from medieval India hardly give any information about the tribes. Many of the tribes merged as politically powerful emerged as politically powerful groups the, through their areas of influence and activities varies. Now there were many tribes which gained political power and became very powerful. Some of the powerful tribes were Kholars tribe in Punjab, Langars and Agurs in Multan, Gaddis in Himalayas, Khols and Berat in Gujarat, Gons in Chhattisgarh, Bihir tribe in Central India, it's and Ahoms in Assam. The tribal societies underwent a change as a result of interaction with Hindus and Islamic state. So now when the tribes were forced to interact with the outside world, they started changing their social life, especially they were under the influence of the Hindu and Islamic society. They were influenced by these two societies. In Punjab, the Kholar Pan tribe was very influential during the 13th and 14th centuries. Later, the Gakkars became more important because they lost their uh, uh, territory or they lost their hold on the people. In Multan and Sin, Langars and Agurs dominated extensive regions. The Baluchis were found in the northwest, that is the Afghan area, okay, Afghanistan. The shepherd herd of Gadis lived in the Him western Himalayas. Now there were some tribes which lived in the Himalayan region, that is the area of our Uttarakhand and these were known as the Gadis. Okay. The northeast part of the subcontinent was dominated by the Nagas, Ahoms, and many others. Now let's uh, re uh, read about the Gonds, which were the important tribe in the central India. The Gondi or Gond or Koitur are an Indian ethnic, uh, ethnic group. They speak the Gondi language, which is a Dravidian language. See, now if it, the question can, which language did the uh, Gonds speak? It would be Gondi language, which is a Dravidian language. They were, they were, they are one of the largest tribe in India. So see, if you see the map below, here is the area of the Gonds, the dark green, okay? They are spread over the state of Madhya Pradesh, Eastern Maharashtra, Eastern Chhattisgarh, Uttar Pradesh, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Bihar and Odisha. So this is the whole area which was covered by the Gondi or the Gons. Gons were sometimes referred to by their tribal dialect that is Gondi. They were at times the Gons were known as Gondi also because of their language. They practiced shifting cultivation. The Gons rose when Delhi Sultanate declined. So when uh, the Delhi Sultanate, that is the uh, slave dynasty, the uh, uh, the slave dynasty, the Lodi dynasty, and the all these uh, the uh, the uh, the Delhi Sultanate declined, then the Gondis rose to power, or the Gons rose rose to power. The king, the Gond kingdom Godwana in the southern, southeast Madhya Pradesh was founded in the 15th century. So now this, uh, uh, the kingdom of Gonds was found in the uh, southeast of uh, Madhya Pradesh uh, towards uh, Odisha and this was in the 15th century. A homes. A home or Thai a home is an ethnic group from the Indian state of Assam and Arunachal. They were 
they are they are the uh, mixed descendants of the thai people who reached the brahmaputra valley of assam in 1222 and the local indigenous people who joined them over the course of history so now uh, the ahoms were the people who uh, a descendant a clan of thai people who had reached assam in the year 1228 see see this area is the gonth area and this is the kingdom of assam which was where the ahoms ruled he this was a uh, he's a warrior from a home who had given a tough fight to aurangzeb while he wanted to capture assam the tri home tribe is traced to some tribes living in southeast asia who had traveled over land through the forest of assam so if you see here uh, they were the from uh, southeast asia and they traveled from uh, thailand my uh, uh, towards the brahmaputra from here they traveled here and established their kingdom the region and culture of assam is a fusion of the local tradition and of a migrant tribe so the this uh, homes had a mixed tradition and this was the tradition of a fusion means mixture of tradition of uh, the uh, the original people uh, the, uh, people of assam and the migrants who uh, who uh, and the people who migrated from the southeast asia the ahoms belonged to a warrior class and built roads and irrigation system even before establishing their rule so now ahoms had uh, had developed did so much of work that the peer, local people of the peer of assam they started accepting them why because they developed roads and irrigation system before them the ahoms uh, performed the new kingdom by suppressing the older political system of bhuyans so now the ahoms uh, uh, when they were started developing uh, doing the act development activities they were suppre uh, they suppress the uh, bunyas who were the political which was the political system or the political power of assam okay children okay boys see you tomorrow in the next video stay tuned